Welcome back, Seth Pling here. You're looking at a little puzzle map I put together based on the new sponges and the new sponge mechanics. And I'll show, show you what I mean. There are 16 levels here. Uh, the game is called Suck It Up. So let me show you why that is. I'm going to go into game mode 0 and uh, and start level 1. They're not, they're not actually numbered, but this is the first level. This is the level where you spawn in. The idea is you get uh, a certain number of sponges in each level in order to clean up all the water. So you basically place down all the sponges that you get. I'll put down, well let's see what happens if I don't put down any sponges. So you get um, two other things in your inventory. There's an execute level egg here and a reset level egg. So if, let's try the execute level egg. So first we execute the level and all the blue stained glass turns into water sources. Now we have the reset level egg, we'll do that. So we get the reset squid and it resets the level, I get the sponge back in my inventory. Um, so if I put a sponge, say, right here, and then I execute the level, uh, this, this basically sponges, as soon as water contacts the sponge, any contiguous water for up to seven blocks will get deleted by the sponge, and then the sponge becomes a wet sponge and it doesn't suck up water anymore. So uh, I was able to soak up one water source, but not the other. So I failed the level, so I can reset, and so the way for me to solve this is to put the sponge, say, right here, so that, because both of these water sources are going to flow to the hole, and by the time the water flows to the hole, they'll be kind of in contact with each other, so it'll all be one contiguous blob of water, and so when I execute the level, we'll see um, basically both water source blocks get sucked up by the sponge, and I've now completed the level, there's no more blue. Uh, let's skip ahead to another level where there's two. If you don't want any more spoilers, just go ahead and download the map now. As soon as you walk into a level, it'll reset the level for you and it'll give you sponges, um, appropriate number of sponges. So I have two sponges to complete this level. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can figure this out because <laughs> uh, I built this earlier in the day and I think. So let's try it. I execute the level. Um, we get a big blob, but kind of all one thing. Uh, let's see if I put one here then uh, I'll get this water source block but it wasn't in contact with the other two water source blocks so that's no good. Uh, if I um, put it say here let's see what happens. I got rid of this one and these two are kind of in contact so that's pretty good and so for the final step let's try putting one here and one over here so that these two water sources will be in contact when they touch this sponge. Let's try it out and it works. So that's how to do two of the levels. There's 14 more levels for you to try out. Uh, in the process you will definitely learn a lot about <laughs> the way that the game calculates water flows and the way that the game calculates sponge uh, sucking <laughs> power, whatever. Um, so try it out, suck it up. There's a download link in the video description. Um, do remember, as you saw there, uh, even though I completed the level, it got reset when I left and came back. So be careful of that. Otherwise, try it out and enjoy, and let me know what you think. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.